Commissions tracking is very important. We have built a comprehensive system for tracking agency and agent commissions, agency and carrier fees, and even interest rates on payment plans. Let's take a look at how you can set up commission rules for your agency and agents. Then we will look at how you can add a new policy, the premium for that policy, and all of its commissions calculations. We can look at the available commissions reports once all of this is complete. First, let's navigate to the top right corner of the screen to the drop down menu below the agency name. Let's click on Profile. From this page, you can manage your agency's details. From the top navigational menu, let's click on Commission Rules. From this page, you can either edit a current commission rule or you can create a new agency rule. Let's click on Add New. The agency commission rules can be carrier or MGA specific. You can be even more specific by choosing a line of business. You can have a different commission for new business and for renewals. You can even specify the commission you will be receiving from carrier fees. Once you have completed this section, click on Save Changes. Let's create a commission rule for an agent. From the top right corner, click on Agents. Choose the agent for which you wish to create a commission rule. Then click on Details. This takes you to the Agent Details page. From the top navigational bar, click on Commission Rules. Let's create a new rule by clicking on Add New. Let's choose the carrier, MGA, and line of business. Here we have an additional option. We can choose if, if the commission from the specific carrier to the specific agent will be calculated based on agency commission or based on the total premium. Let's choose from agency commission. Then we can add different percentages for new business and renewals. We can even add commission percentages to be paid to the agent from agency fees. Now, all you have to do to create a new rule for this agent is to click on Save Changes. Let's add a policy to an existing customer. From the left navigational menu, click on Insureds. Find the insured for which you wish to add a new policy and click on Details. This takes you to the details page of that insured. From the top navigational menu, let's click on Policies. From this page, you can either edit an existing policy or create a new policy. Let's create a new policy by clicking on Add New. In the General section, we will add the policy number, then the effective date. We will choose if this is an annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, or variable policy. Let's say this is an annual policy. This selection will automatically complete the expiration date below. We can choose the business type, new business, renewal, or rewrite. Then, we can select that the premium will be sent monthly or gross. On the right of the general section is the carrier and MGA section. Let's select the carrier, then if we have an MGA, we can select it as well. Further down, you can select the CSR assigned to this policy. Then we can either add a new line of business or select one from the drop-down menu below. For this example, let's choose commercial auto. Next, you need to add the premium. Any agency or carrier fees, add them as well. You can enter agency and carrier fees by either percentage or dollar amount. By default, commissions will revert to percentage. Carrier and agency fees will be a dollar amount. Just below the agency and carrier fees is the agency commission section. This area is automatically com completed based on the commission rule you have selected for the agency. Further down is the coverages section. The coverages section is specific to the line of business you have chosen for this policy. For commercial auto, you can complete the general liability, auto liability, garage liability, cargo, and as many other lines of business as you need. Information added to any section of the system will be used to automatically complete your accord forms.
Further down, you can choose an agent for this policy. Once you choose the agent, the system knows this specific agent's commission rules and will apply it to this section. In the payment section, you can choose if the policy will be paid in full, through a finance company, direct or agency bill. For this example, let's choose agency bill. Based on this selection, the system created some additional questions. Next, you need to specify the down payment, if it will be a dollar amount or a percentage then the interest rate you will be charging the insured. You can choose if you would like to calculate the interest based on the compound or the simple method. The compound method, which is most commonly used, will be selected by default. The number of remaining payments, then you can specify if the agency and carrier fees will be financed. You can add processing fees for this down payment transaction. You can also create payment reminders. As this is an agency bill, you may need to receive reminders when the insured payments are due. Further down, the system automatically calculates all payments and their due date. As your, as your customer may make a future partial payment or payments that are above the due amount, you can return to this area and enter the actual amount paid and the date on which it was paid. The system will automatically recalculate the remaining payments. Now Search is a very intuitive management system. It provides many features and options which can greatly aid and assist your agency.